These parts and their functions are analogous to the digestive system in the human body. They are responsible for storing fuel, powering the engine, and finally expelling the exhaust. The fuel stored in the fuel tank is sent to the injector by the fuel pump. The pump is driven by an electric motor and connected to the injector with the fuel hose and fuel pipe. An onboard computer system electronically controls the fuel injection system. The air necessary for combustion is supplied by the feeding system. The air intake is increased for greater explosions. First, the air cleaner removes debris. The fuel that is injected into the engine is actually a mixture of air and fuel. The airflow meter measures how much air is passing through a tube and determines the fuel injection rate. Airflow can be measured by the D-Detronic system that measures the speed or density of airflow or by the L-Detronic system that measures the volume of air. The rate of airflow is controlled by the throttle valve. The throttle valve adjusts the airflow in correlation to the degree by which the accelerator pedal is pressed down. The intake finally reaches the cylinders after the intake manifold evenly distributes and supplies the air to each cylinder. In gasoline engines, the air-fuel mixture is sent to the combustion chamber and ignited by the ignition system. The ECU sets the timing for the ignition coil to generate approximately 50,000 volts sparking the spark plug. The exhaust gas from combustion is expelled by the exhaust system. The gas that leaves the cylinders is pushed through the exhaust manifold and out of the engine. The exhaust manifold is designed to minimize exhaust interference, an adverse effect on power output that occurs when exhaust expulsion from multiple cylinders becomes staggered. To maintain a steady flow, the exhaust is collected into a single tube before being sent for conversion into less harmful gases. The exhaust gas is composed of nitrogen, carbon dioxide, water, along with toxic substances such as nitric oxides, hydrocarbons, and carbon monoxide. These three toxic substances are chemically converted into harmless compounds by the three-way catalyst in the catalytic converter. While cylinder capacity is always fixed in an automobile, a supercharger can force more fuel into the cylinders by compressing the air. A turbocharger uses the energy from the exhaust to compress the air. And a supercharger utilizes the power from the engine. Like a human body circulatory system that passes blood and lymph fluids throughout the body, a car has a lubrication system, cooling system, starting system, and a charging system. With metal surfaces constantly rubbing against each other in an engine, the lubrication system delivers the oil needed to properly cool and lubricate its parts. The engine powers the oil pump to suck out the oil in the sump of the pan, distributing it throughout the engine. The crankshaft delivers the lubricant into the cylinders, while the piston ring ensures that the lubricant is sealed out of the combustion chamber. During operation, the engine reaches extremely high temperatures, 
Overheating and overcooling disrupts the engine and prevents it from functioning properly. To avoid extreme temperatures in the engine, the cooling system helps maintain the temperature within an optimum range. The water pump is powered by the engine and delivers the coolant throughout the cooling system. The coolant removes heat by conduction as it travels through the engine. When the hot coolant reaches the radiator, the heat is released into the air. If the car is in motion, contact with the moving air can efficiently dissipate the heat from the radiator. However, if the car is stopped or traveling very slowly, the cooling fan kicks on to compensate. To prevent overcooling of the engine in cold climates, the thermostat controls the temperature by shutting down the cooling system. Other components include the starter motor, which starts the engine from a stop. The alternator, which generates electricity from the engine's mechanical energy. And the battery, which stores the generated electricity.